Hello, and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of April 5th, 2018. <laughs> My name is Brandon Zeck. I'm Julia Claire Wallace. And what do you, who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> I'm here because I am a Houston artist and organizer. I'm actually the director of Experimental Action, a Houston performance art festival, and I love performance art, and there's a ton of great performance art happening this week we kind and of have some other the, stuff too. We kind of have the perfect performance art week, so yeah. who better to talk to? Number five this week is a show by Nestor Topchi, who is a Houston artist, performance artist, long time character, long -time character <laughs> legend. Yes. Um, and this is a show called Eternal Now, and it's happening at the George H. Lewis and Sons Funeral Directors. It's a funeral home. So Nestor creates um, icon, traditional like tempera icon paintings of people from the Houston art scene. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, people like Jim Pertle, who runs Natsuo, or uh, Rainy Knutson, who is the founder of Glass Tire. Or yeah, I saw Clint Willauer on the, on the flyer. And it's kind of fun to look around and see if you recognize anyone. Nestor has been doing this for a long time. This is a huge project uh, that is still continuing. Number four on our list is Christy Blizzard and her show, True Sperm from the Brave Human World Tour at Dirty Dark Place at Kyle Flea Market. <laughs> How could so, we not pick that? <laughs> she's a San Antonio-based performance artist and... An installation artist, I would say, Installation too, artist. Her work. And this show is going to kind of... It's going to contain some work that's uh, sprung out of her Art Pace residency exhibition, which happened uh, last year. And I know for that, she was going around to various EDM concerts with puppets, and it tied into philosophers, and it was this weird performative mask-like figure. Mm -hmm. And I saw that she's going to be a noise DJ for this. And you know, performance art happening in a rural flea market parking lot. I'm there. What's not to love? Number three this week is our Dallas pick. It's a show of new paintings by the Fort Worth-based artist Kirk Hayes at Conduit Gallery. Um, I have to say, I actually wasn't that familiar with Kirk Hayes' paintings until I saw, I saw one in the Fort Worth Modern recently, and I saw one at the Grace Museum in Abilene. Um, he's a self-taught artist, and the real kind of gem about his paintings are is the amazing way that he creates trompe l'oeil effects on the surface. It's very much kind of a, you know, a surface paint relationship. They're a little traditional in their process and they kind of speak to the human experience, which is a very general term, but <laughs> the, the real gem is that they're beautiful paintings and I think he's doing something that even though really kind of comes from a traditional method of making, he's doing something that not a lot of people do well. Now for number two, it's indivisible at the Station Museum of Contemporary Art, which is where we are right now. We're here in the station, standing in front of a work by Dan S. Wang behind us. There's work by Meow Jackson, who's one of Houston's favorite out-of-town performance artists, and Laurel Nakadate's work is some of my favorite. I saw her um, in a diverse work show before, and here she's doing work with men she met on Craigslist. Uh, it's good. There's a video by Kenneth Tin Kin Hung. Um, Which I should add is an incredible Instagram opportunity. Oh yeah. But this is a really great show and the curatorial premise around it is exploring the lives of Asian immigrants to the US. So you know there's works um, exploring Japanese internment during World War II. There's works by Chinese immigrants and how they've kind of perceived the US and how the US has perceived them. Um, and it's, it's a great theme for a show, and there's a lot of good work here. Some of the best photographs that I've seen all of PhotoFest have been here. Uh, so it's gonna be up through April 22nd, but today there is a performance. Yes, by Meow Jackson. Uh, he's been in my festivals that I've organized, and he is so great. I love him, everyone loves him here. Number one this week, we are including it this week because it starts on Tuesday and we wanna make sure you don't miss a second of it. It's Countercurrent, which is the annual performance festival that is put on by the Mitchell Center for the Arts at the University of Houston. And you've been working on this. Yes, I've been doing my practicum uh, for my master's degree with them. And 
Before I even started working with them, Countercurrent was one of my favorite things to happen in the city. Every time I've gone to a piece, it's been one of those things that really changes the way you think of the world. Usually it's participatory, usually it uses lots of different disciplines. The people they bring in are some very world-renowned people. Mm -hmm. um, these are good artists. One of the pieces we're really looking forward to is Selena Thompson's Race Cards mm -hmm. uh, performance, which one of the nice things about Countercurrent also is if you aren't able to get tickets or, you know, some of the things are already filled up, there are installations and things happen and things that happen over the course of the festival so you can still see them. And mm -hmm. this is one of those things. <laughs> Just real quick also as a part of that, we have to mention Delilah Montoya's uh, exhibition opening at the Trans Art Foundation for Art and Anthropology. This is a new building that was recently built in Houston for the foundation. Um, and it's there's gonna beautiful. be a performance for Countercurrent as a part of the show. Elia Arce is going to be performing as part of Countercurrent in that space. And I love Elia. She's one of my favorite people in the whole world. She's instrumental in me becoming who I am as an artist. She used to teach at U of H. Um, but not only is seeing her piece amazing, but seeing this new building is going to be wonderful. It's, it's a work of art in and of itself. I can't wait to see what kind of, of opportunities and experiences it brings to Houston. Uh, if you're in Houston, we will see you tonight at Mao's performance at the station, because we'll be both there. be here. I'll say hi to you if you want. Go see some art.